All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Hogwarts again. Big surprise. This time we're going to try an auto attack focus build. Uh, this was linked to me by a viewer, and I'm just going with it. I'm a little weirded out by the questing one, but we'll just go with it. We'll just go with it. So this is picking up the journeyman's cooking. This is the easy throw dynamite quest. I imagine this is going to be pretty hard to stack up. Um, but we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Looks like the friendly team heading up to the top vision here. I am in. Almost blocked that off. Not quite. Stunned and stunned and Tasmanian devil away. I did get three stacks of the dynamite in there, though. That felt pretty good. We did lose our garage, unfortunately. I'm going to grab my sip and head down to the bottom lane. If you haven't seen this map in a little while, it was redesigned. Dude, everyone is just playing characters that they can stun on now that the medallion has been removed. Have you noticed that? ETC Kerrigan combo? What the fuck? When was the last time you saw one of those, dude? When was the last time you saw one of those? This enemy team doesn't even have a hogger. Oh, yeah. Uh, so our goal today is going to be to test out this auto attack build and see how we like it. Just like our other hogger videos, um, you know, we're, we're just testing the the ground. We're just, we're just seeing how things go. We're not going in with any expectations. We've been pleasantly surprised by some builds and pleasantly let down by others, namely the trait build didn't go very well. Brightwing ETC both in the bottom lane right now. We do see Jaina. Team. Oof. Brightwing rotating up. I might be able to get a TNT on her. Hey, I'm getting better at the direct tosses after that last game. It took a little bit of time. It took a little bit of time. A big old W from Lee Ming coming out. Direct toss for two more stacks versus this enemy team. We're pretty even on XP. We are going to be hitting level four in the next cup. Was that a spin? I don't think it was a spin. I think he was just walking in circles. There's a very clear, distinct difference. He's going to follow up with the power slide, and then I'm going to hate myself. Uh, let's go ahead and throw out our trait. This is how we're going to get some health back versus this guy. Stun him into the wall, break our trait, and we're happy. Right, we can get a teleport in on him, so the global is down. We're going to be taking Brute Force at level 4. Hitting heroes with Staggering Blow permanently increases your basic attack damage by 1, up to a maximum of 100. Enemy heroes hit against terrain give us 2 stacks. So boom, 2 stacks right there. And then we get a stack of our E if I was a little bit faster to the reaction. There is kind of a combo mentality with this. If I was a little bit better, like knock him back and then immediately throw the W. I'm just not quite used to the range on the staggering blow yet, and that's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to. The first objective of the game is coming up. The enemy team does have bright wing. Maybe he'll just respect the sides. I'll just get the right one, he can get the left one. Oh my God, no respect. No respect that you stay the fuck over there. Shoulda listened. Wait a minute, I can't get out of it! I'm stuck! All right, we'll just cancel that and walk over here. Damn, how many times have I tried? How many times have I tried to get stuck in a loop like that and I've never been able to do it? Then I do it when I'm not trying to. What the fuck? All right, looks like a, ooh. Put my trait here. Try to interrupt that. Dynamite, maybe? Uh, maybe not worth. Is she just gonna come up and cast it? I might be able to interrupt the cast. Hold under our Q. Or I just won't do that. Everything I just said, not gonna do it. Feels bad. Bye! Uh, let's go ahead and pick up Seeing Red while above 50 rage. You gain 25% attack speed and cooldowns of Staggering Blow and Hog Wild refresh 30% faster. Unfortunately, I'm a little low in the rage department at the moment. So that's something we're going to need to work on. Let me throw this back here. We could try to knock her into that. Unfortunately, it didn't work. 
TNT out. Fortunately, that didn't work either. Oof. And I don't have a sippy cup. You killed my fucking sippy cup. Uh, looks like there was a pretty fierce battle up in the top part of the map. I had nothing to do with it. We could put this terrain down, immediately break it to get some HP. Uh, we just saw Brightwing teleport down. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not. What do I do with that? What kind of a long con bait was that shit? Also, what the fuck is up with this building not being able to hit right there? What's going on with that building? Someone needs to fucking have a meeting. Someone needs to. What do they call it when they when they when your boss talks to you and it's like your review and everyone hates it, everybody dreads it because they think they're doing shit. Someone needs to have one of those with that fucking building. What is its problem? All right, well, the friendly team was able to get the nuke back. Uh, so times have changed. The best lane to nuke on this map is now the top lane. I'm gonna burrow through this and go try to join my team up there. Kerrigan may have seen us coming through. Indeed she did. But hey, I'll go get two stacks for my thing right there. Don't mind if I do. We are going to pick up... Oh, the Hortipult was part of this. Okay, I'm in. I actually think I like the Hortipult, Hortipult more than the Phallic. Oh, yeah, dude. That's... And that's why. That's why. That's exactly why. It's just more fun. Plus, you get more healing from it, too, which I think is actually really important. We'll go ahead and throw out the TNT. Hopefully, try to knock him into the wall. The knock into the wall didn't quite work out, but we still get stacks nonetheless. We're at 17 stacks of our Q and 15 of our... 15 of our dynamite. That was a good dynamite. Oof, looks like a lot is happening up at the top lane. We just lost Garrosh and... Our Li Ming, ETC rotating down. We're going to follow. Block this off. <gasps> what? All right. Do you think he went bottom? You think he just went to the TNT? Oh my god, I'd be so upset if he just went here. No, <laughs> he went middle in. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna use this right away at the bottom building. Uh, and then try to get up to my team as fast as pot. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna leave then. Very well, Jaina, very well. You can have this lane. I wonder if we'd be able to sit up something to take this camp really, really quickly or, or something. Like if we could set up our trait and maybe our ult in that area, potentially like take that camp really fast. I, I'm just thinking out loud. So if the center of this doesn't matter anymore, can't I just do this? I guess the center still hits that. I'm gonna tunnel back down to the bottom. Keep these guys guessing. Gonna try to clear this really quick as well. Trying to stay competitive on XP. I don't know how well it's going. Now we're gonna start to get into the actual power of our build. We're coming online in the late game, hopefully. Uh, because we're focused on auto attacks and this is where we start to get our auto attack talents. Gonna dive in here, block this off. Beautiful. I wanna say that was perfect positioning on that one. Not that they needed it. Uh, and then instead of going top immediately, I'm going to try to help this push in. And then we will take the tunnel up. They're two down, so they really shouldn't need me, actually. I might just stay in on this. Our siege damage is lower this game compared to the TNT game because we can't separate the TNT here. So I think if I was dedicated off lane, I might actually go for TNT build. Just because when you have the opportunities to push, you should be able to take them easier. 
That being said, we do lose our tracer up in the top lane. Looks like this fight is continuing. This is a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh-oh. Everyone's getting out. Everyone's fine. That was really close. Maybe I should have gone. No, I got a building. We're fine. We did our job. We got the building. We're okay. If I didn't get the building, that wouldn't have been worth it. Uh, the friendly team is backing right now. We see Jaina Proudmore on the map. I would go for that kill if they didn't have the Brightwing. I don't know what the timer on her teleport's going to be. Uh, and I'm afraid of it. So... Play with caution. Try to make some actually smart plays today. Good dodge. Send these guys into the wall. Disengage with my ult. Damn, they got a lot of coordination. Oh, that was a beautiful Kerrigan combo. Oh my God. So this talent at 13, damage to heroes with basic attack, staggering blow while, okay, we, we heal ourselves. <laughs> it's the polymorph follow-up that really makes that so dangerous for us. And once again, reinforcing the fact that I feel like a bruisee rather than a bruiser. Uh, it's, yeah, I, think, I think his survivability is a little underwhelming. But we may just be uncovering slowly but surely that Brightwing is the bane of our existence because the last match that we got beat the fuck up in was the Cho'Gal Valera Kira Brightwing. It was just CC chain after CC chain after CC chain. And it's, it was hard. It was a hard matchup. Uh, we are back up level 16. At 16, we are gonna get Furzerker hitting heroes with Let's go down to the bottom lane. Hitting heroes with Staggering Blow or Easy Throw Dynamite increases the damage of the next basic attack by eight, uh, for eight seconds. I'm coming. Try to cut these guys off. Tasmanian Devil this. Stay on my ground, stay on my ground. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Back off, back off. He won't swap, he's scared. Oh no, I didn't mount. <laughs> no. I fucking canceled my own mount, dude. Feels so bad. Uh, so they did get the camp. We're kind of losing every fight here. They got some really good CC trains going on their team. And unfortunately, I don't think there's too much that I can do about that. Oof. Was that a swap? I wasn't paying attention. Once we get the secret stash, things might help out, but we still got to get four levels to get to that. And it's looking like that might be a little... I mean, look at this. Once once one person CCs, it's just over. The polymorph comes in, another stun comes in, it's just over. Uh, we could try to engage here, but we already lost the building, so I don't think it would be that worth it. Uh, we should have another objective here pretty soon. Best thing we can do right now is just push out our waves. Try to grab that XP where we can. There's not a lot of merc camps to actually pick up on this map that we need to worry about. The only one that's up is, is boss. And that one that they just took. We see Brightwing moving forward, ETC here as well. If I can get ETC to look at me, that frees up my team quite a bit. If I could just distract him, that means he's not stunlocking my team and setting up for their CC combo. I'm a little afraid to branch out here. They are level 20. They're going to be getting a lot of nukes. I think they're going to have four. Um, not very good at double soaking with this particular build either. I think TNT would be my favorite for that. Oh shit. 
I tried to cut the path off. That's a five fucking man stun right there. Yeah, they split their attention quite a bit. Nice job, team. Nice fucking job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good shit. Good fucking shit. They're nuking bottom just to pick up another nuke. He's going to be able to stage dive out. Try to catch him. Push, 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 push. This is big. This is fucking huge. Let's go. We have 20 seconds before Kerrigan's back up and Brightwing's back up. Oh, I need heals really bad, actually. Uh, I'm going to secret stash. Do we go core? <sighs> oh, no. Yeah, okay. Let's take this camp. I'm just going to ult here because it'll heal me back up. Remember, Brightwing can engage the moment she spawns. Kerrigan's done. She's in the Chrysalis. I'm going to block her path here. Oh. I tried to stun Brightwing into the wall there. It didn't work. It got interrupted. Even though the animation happened. Fuck yes, dude. Break this for the health. Damn it. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. <sighs> yeah, I swear I saw the animation of my Q go out versus Brightwing right before she started her ult right here. And then after the stun of being pushed back was over, Staggering Blow was off cooldown again. Which felt really weird. Oh, Michael Udall, thank you for the sub, my dude. Good to see you. Good to see you, Noodle. Okay. Tough game. Real tough game. I think the build is actually coming along really well. I think this was a good recommendation. I also think the enemy team just has a monstrous amount of crowd control, and we can't do too much about it. Uh, looks like they are going to pick up the mercenary camp at the top left. We still have ours at the bottom right, if we're able to get it. Uh, I'm back up in three seconds. This game is looking pretty even. We did a really good job there of capitalizing on them being out of position and separating them and staggering their deaths. That was really, really good. However, they're all back up again. So that advantage is gone and we need to find another way to do it. We have two nukes coming up. I have no vision of anything. This is really stupid. <gasps> Boss. Gasp. Um, maybe I just grab bottom and then and then take the nuke back. Unfortunately, they're fighting, which is really really bad. I'll just use this nuke on the boss. We might get stage dived, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, I never looked at his hearth animation before. That's cute. Should clear that out pretty nicely. Everything except for the boss. <gasps> I can't move! And there's the CC chain. Run! Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Because I think they're gonna push in with it. And we're gonna try to just fight on top of our loot horde. Oh no. Hey, we're getting a lot of healing. Actually, a ton of value from that. I don't think it's gonna be enough to save the game, but that was really good. GG team. GG team, they played extremely well. I don't think we have anything to be upset about with that loss. That build felt fine. I was a little worried about the stacks, the stacking early on. Uh, that's not big of, that big of a deal.
And keep in mind, your uh, bombs will get easier at 20, but waiting for level 20 to kind of stack that up felt, felt, a, little, felt a little weird. I think, if anything, I would have just swapped out seeing red. I think what could have changed that game for me would have been swapping out seeing red with that bomb talent that we were fucking around with last game. I think if we did that, that would have gone a lot better. So 56k hero damage. Keep in mind, I wasn't fighting that much. I was trying to do the offlane stuff. Talents we went for Journeyman's Cooking, Brute Force, Seeing Red, Horde Pult, Bloodthirst, Fur Zerker, and Secret Stash. At level 7, if I went for Dense Blasting Powder and just kind of opened up the AoE potential of our W, I think that would have been really, really good. Even if you don't go for a Kalabui, I think that's fine. You start out with this, this questing shit at the beginning, you get dense blasting powder, and then that rounds out your wave clear and rounds out your AoE, and then you can focus on auto attacks into the late game and still pick up secret stash, and your shit will be more stacked by level 20. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's the change that I would make to that and I think that would have felt a lot better. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you again next time.